You're watching Basketball Media Day on LoneStarConference.org. This is the Midwestern State portion. Trey Reed along with MSU head coach Nelson Haggerty and senior guard Bretson McNeil. Seven straight years in the Lone Star Conference tournament, obviously, too, mm -hmm. as well as a national tournament. Won 20 games in those years as well, Coach. So this program's have a long tradition of success have a lot of returners this year with eight, but you're also having to mix in with a lot of newcomers as well. How's that gone in the early going to practice? It's been great. You know, um, our team has been led by our returners. Uh, um, they set the, uh, set the pace uh, back in the spring. I think this group has had the best spring of, of any group of returners that we've had since I've been here. So uh, they've been great over the summer. Um, they, they set the tone early for the new, guy, new guys to come in and and uh, just follow suit with uh, what they've been able to do, you know, on and off the floor uh, without me having to tell them so. So uh, really excited about this group that we have coming out here tonight. Not only reaching the national tournament, but having won a game in each of those years last year, uh, upsetting, I guess, by national ranking Metro State. Mm -hmm. And having a big part of that was uh, Bretson McNeil mm -hmm. uh, made all tournament teams, all first team all conference last season. What are you seeing in, in practice that's that's getting you excited for this year? We just we got a group of, of hardworking teammates that you know we push each other on different levels each and every day, just to get better, whether it's mentally, physically, or even before and after practice, working on things that we need help with, plays, just making sure we're better this year than we were last year for sure. And coming into the season, not going to be able to ease into it seventh in one national poll, uh, 22nd another, and, and yet uh, 19th and yet another. So this year, and, and also it shows the toughness of the Lone Star Conference. Uh, Tarleton State ranked highly in that as well. And in other polls, you have Angelo State and A&M Commerce who had great years last year. The strength of the conference is obviously there and you know how to compete in this league. Uh, what makes this conference so difficult and so tough? Well, you know, I truly believe it's the best conference in Division Two. I think we've been ranked uh, uh, in, in some other publications as uh, the toughest conference in basketball. So, uh, first of all, it starts with the coaches. Um, uh, we've got some great institutions that have hired some great guys that know the game, uh, very knowledgeable, uh, know how to get teams ready to play and perform. Um, and then they, you know, we're able to get great players in this league, uh, whether they're younger, whether they're uh, transfers. Um, you know, league, you know, each, each year in and year out, there are great guys that come into this league that are able to make an impact. So um, it just makes it tough, uh, very competitive. Um, you know, we end up knocking each other out uh, in a lot of respects, uh, just from the competition in our league. But, uh, you know, Tarleton got to the Final Four, you know, this last, uh, this last season. Um, you know, we've been to some Elite Eights and uh, definitely Angelo State and, and, and Texas Commerce. Uh, have been in the top, you know, West Texas is uh, definitely making a push. So just from top to bottom, uh, it's just a great competitive league. And night in and night out, we have to be prepared and ready. And Brett, last year, you got to look at the Lone, the Lone Star Conference tournament, played yeah. in a nice venue in Allen. Uh, what's interesting this year is that the uh, Elite Eight, in, just down the road in Frisco, you had you saw the Midwestern State fan base. Yes. What was special about that about the, them traveling to the conference tournament and, and playing in that venue as well? Um, the arena was just, it was a different type of exposure and setting for like big time players. If you're ready for that moment and you see the, the fan base that you have, it makes you want to play a little bit harder and it shows out when you're out there against other teams that are ready to play when it's time for conference play. I'd like to thank Coach Nelson Haggerty for joining us and Bretson McNeil. And this is Trey Reed. This has been the, the Lone Star Conference preseason preview on the LoneStarConference.org.